So then, welcome to the tour of Western Supermares High Street. So we are starting with this shop, these row shops on the first part, and then going on the other side. So anyway, here are the first shops. We have Costa Coffee, CEX, the Complete Entertainment Exchange. Um, let's just keep going. Keep going down the high street. Uh, we have uh, Boots Opticians, we have the O2, we have Phone Revive, Independent, Vodafone, we have E-Cigarette, Marks and Spencers, which are M&S, which, which are now closed, Green Slides Opticians, Cafe Nero, Phone Zone, and if you just, if we just go down, uh, Rossiter and Sons, the EE, we have the Sovereign Shopping Centre, which is the main shopping centre in the centre of Western. And there's a good selection of shops in there Pandora, Go Mobile, H. Samuels, <laughs> Salt Rock, an empty shop, Vision Express, Game. Optica, everything's eleven pound. Sally's, Greg's, and Timson's at uh, the Cobbler's shop, NatWest, and we have we have all the row shops down there. Especially there's a uh, Burger King. So this is the courtyard, and so. And there's the Lloyd's Bank. So this is just the tour of the main high street. Let's come back. So the first shop on this side we come to is Argus. Then there's a closed down shop, a coffee house, independent, British Art Foundation charity shop, Bright House, which went into administration during the coronavirus pandemic. We have Tui, which is part of Thompson which brought out Thompson and First Choice, Walker and Ning, one of the last remaining department stores in Western Supermare. This is a very nice independent shop, um, and a lot of people tend to call them to Western to go to Walker and Ling. We have Gardens, a cafe, we've got uh, Rebel, Rebel Clothing, and... Um, and we've got the works, uh, one of these uh, uh, bookshops we have Animal, um, just right there, one of the popular shops here in Western, we have Tony Price into Sports, which is now shut, and uh, Specsavers, and we've got what is now being there, it used to be a BHS, and as you probably know, BHS went into administration in 2016. We have Poundland and Papinko, which used to be known as Woolworths. Uh, we have Santander, oh, just a bank, boring. Quite a lot of banks here. And there's Burton and Dorothy Perkins in partnership with the Arcadia Group. Uh, Boots, uh, the pharmacy, we have Mountain Warehouse. Treads, Phone World, um, WH Smith's just behind there, there used to be an X here, Shoe Zone, the Clafon Warehouse, Tony and Guys, Thomas Cook, which is now Hayes Travel, McCall's, HSBC, oh, just a bank, boring, and there used to be a Toy Master, and there's another Greg's just right there, there's a McDonald's, a New Look, and a lot of independent shops down there which aren't really interesting so uh, there's not many shops on this side of the high street there is coffee hashtag one because the rest are like all independents not very interesting there's pdsa the charity shop and uh, a lot a lot of cheap and uh, nasty shops uh, uh, got nice and wide bang boring and here's the new Row the old Dolphin Square, so we have Costa, Lud, and then we have the Duke of Oxford Public House. So anyway, we're now going on the other side. As you can see, we have TJ Hughes, which is now closed. It's been empty ever since it closed in 2011, so 
There's TJ Hughes. Now, deserves it.